Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we are going to take a look how we can implement Lottie animations like this in our Android project. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get notification when we upload more content. To implement Lottie animations, you have to go to this website first. And you can see, you can implement this type of animations in your Android project. These animations are vector animations and they have created in After Effects. Now to implement this, don't click on this get started for free button. Go to this upper discover tab and click on this free animations. And from here you can choose any types of animation you want for your project. Most of them here is free but you can get paid animation also. Now for this example, I am gonna use this animation and it's a free. And if you scroll down, you can see you have the options to change the animation speed, background colors, animation layer colors and edit the layers and it is also light weighted. But we are not gonna change any of this in this video. And at the top right corner, you have the download option. Click here and you can see you have many options to download but to use it in our android project we have to download this json format if you are first time here you have to sign up so i am gonna use my google account to sign up to this website Now you can download this animation in JSON format. I have already downloaded this animation and I am gonna rename it. So it can support the Android Studio. Now in our Android project, first you have to add the dependency. For that go to your build.gradle file, module app in its name. First we are gonna add the version number. And then the dependency itself. When this video is recording, the current version number is 3.4. Yours may be different. For the current version number, you can go to their official github page that is linked below in the video description. And you will find the dependency and its latest version number. After adding it, sync your project and wait for some time. And make sure you have internet connection available. Now after the finish of the synchronization, go to your activity main.xml file where you want to add the plotty animation. We are going to copy our JSON file that we have downloaded. Right click on our REST folder, New, Android Resource Directory. And for the directory type, we are going to choose RAW. Some other tutorials might say to put it in an asset folder, but it is recommended to use RAW directory. So in this project, we are going to stick with RAW directory. And click OK to finish. Now again right click on this RAW directory and paste the json file that we have copied earlier. This file contains only json data. Now we can go back to our activity main.xml file. I am using a linear layout. You can use whatever layout you want. Opening angle bracket, lottie animation view. For the width we are gonna write match parent and height wrap content. Also provide some margin of 16 dp. And we are gonna provide the animation source that we have placed it in raw folder. And we're gonna set our autoplay to true. So the animation start as soon as we run our app. And we're gonna also set the loop to true. So animation doesn't end when it finishes. And now test our app to see how it's work. And you can see that our animation is running. And now let's add start and pause button to this animation. And for that, we are going to add an ID to this Lottie animation view. 
I am gonna call it animation view and set this to attribute to false. Now we'll create a button with a height and width wrap content. Give the layout gravity to central horizontal and provide some layout margin of 8 dp. And we're gonna set this button ID to button start and set the button text to start. So we're gonna copy this button and paste it below. Change the ID and the text to pause. and initialize our lot animation view and the buttons. We are going to assigning them to their following IDs. And now we are going to take our start button and call set on click listener on it. And now in the on click method, we are going to take our Lottie animation view and call dot play animation to play our animation. We are going to do that same for our pause button. But instead of play animation, we are going to call dot pause animation for this. And it is going to pause our animation. And now let's test our app to see how it's work. Now you can see that our app is started but animation isn't running yet. We are going to place this start button and the animation is start playing. And when we click this pause button, it pause. Okay guys, that's it for today. And if you have any questions or queries, please ask me in the comment section. Take care.